Hey, didn't see you there. Well, I was just enjoying a little bit of music on these wonderful headphones. These are the Logitech G535 and we are going to be taking a look at them right now. Alright guys, so I think that I'm gonna do a little bit of a comparison between the G435 and the G535. So we'll start uh, with the build quality. I've already made a detailed video about it uh, for the G435, but we haven't talked about the 535. So as you can see here from the head strap, it's a little bit wrinkled, that's from only two months of use and doesn't look so good, but actually doesn't really matter also because uh, the comfortability of the headphones is just the same. The, the mic is retractable, it goes down it makes a clicky sound, then goes up makes another clicky sound for muting and unmuting. Also it's really easy to detach the head strap of the headphones and adjust it only with two levels but that should be plenty, it should sit comfortable on most of you guys and the headphones are actually really lightweight as well. As you can see from the scale here, the G435 are 166 grams, while the G535 actually come at around 228, which is kind of a lot more, but you don't feel it the same way. They are pretty lightweight overall, both of them, and both of them sit super comfortably on the head. But I will be really honest with you, I would prefer the G435 and I would give it a 10 out of 10, while the 535 is a 9 out of 10 when it comes to comfortability. Speaking about the buttons on the headset, there is a power on and off button and of course when you press it, it shows you the battery percentage, the volume scroll lock and the USB-C charging port and by the way, these headphones charge for a little bit over an hour from 0 to 100 and that is while you are using them. As you can see, the headphones are quite durable and no matter what I do with them, they actually are not gonna break. You can tell that the materials that they have used are really high quality here. Now this is how the headphones sit on your head, pretty snugly, pretty comfortably. I still rate it 9 out of 10, as I said before. And I've also forgot to mention that the sound is incredible with these headphones. You get 40mm uh, drivers inside and a long 33 hours of battery life. This is the 2.4GHz dongle and it's advertised as light speed. Uh, from Logitech, but I didn't see anything special about it. Also, make sure to put uh, this dongle on the front of your PC because if you put it on the back, there might be interference. Alright, so I guess it's time for me to show you the Logitech G-Hub and to have a microphone test, right? Well, actually, this entire video almost is recorded by the G535's microphone, so you can judge by that. And now, I'm going to show you quickly about what this app has to offer. First, as you can see here, it lists all of my Logitech devices. Then I can go to settings and adjust the automatic power off, which I have usually set to 15 minutes. Then you can open the headphones themselves and you can see here quite a lot of stuff that you can mess with. For example, this equalizer has presets for it, but you can also find presets created by other people and you can load them up. Sometimes the app is a little bit slow, but once everything loads up, you can see all of the equalizers here, or you can go and create your own. Very simple and very easy to use, you have all of the information right here and you don't have to think twice about it. And that will be all from me, so tell me, which one do you like? G45? G535? I'm waiting for you in the comments.